Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Water City Rock Talk, where you get great news, great interviews, great interviewees with sometimes a comedic touch. Please hit the subscribe button or that yellow and black guitar icon thingy on your right. And make sure you hit the notification bell so you get uh, notified when I have a new interview uploaded. And please, please make comments, uh, let me know what you think, and hit that like button as well. So all the way from Europe and directly from Norway, I bring you Ronnie Letecro. How are you doing, Ronnie? I'm doing fine. Awesome. Thank you, sir. You look nice and comfortable. You're in, I, I, you're in the mountains in Norway, correct? I'm in the mountains in Norway uh, at the sound studio we have here. Uh, studio Studio, it's called. We're in the uh, one hour north of Oslo, which is the capital of Norway. Right. And uh, yeah, where I'm cu currently working on, uh, uh, doing on new TNT uh, material. Uh, just started briefly, and uh, yeah. Right on. So, wanted to bring you on today because uh, you uh, you guys are set to release, you and Leadfoot are set to release uh, next month on this exact day, the 24th of March, uh, limited mm. edition Lava Lamp, your sequel to The Death Divine. How did you, first of all, come up with that title? Unique, isn't it? Uh, I think we were pretty uh, drunk that night. And... Uh... But but it's it's like a ma metaphor of life, you know. Limited edition lava lamp. We glow for a certain period of time, and it's a limited edition. Right. So, so and that's kind of how we made the album too. Because uh, Tim, you know, Ledfoot, Tim Scott McConnell, also yeah. now known as Ledfoot, is uh, sixty-four or something. I'm fifty-nine, and I told him we really got to get going. Let's go into the studio, write some new songs now meet in uh, a month and uh, then uh, record the album in a compressed time like they did in the 60s, 70s just bring in the musicians, we sit down like the fucking Beatles did mm -hmm. play and play and then record <laughs> right. so it's done in a very it was done in a very old fashioned way, I would say today's <laughs> music technology yeah, um, a lot of guys these days, uh, we're still putting out good material but they're not even meeting up with band members they're they're sending over a guitar clips. The singers sing yeah. into that too, a back, uh, uh, you know, a backbeat of uh, drum tracks, and then uh, they're all fixing it. And you know, uh, it's beautiful. But I know what you're saying. To be in the room with the energy, it's more you get more out of it, and you and you probably yeah, 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 definitely. It's it's that energy. If if you have a band of four members, when you play live, it's like the fifth member. It's like an invisible energy. That gets into the production or, uh, right, L like most bands have live, uh, like real bands. I mean, not today's pop bands because they're just on playback anyway, right? So, uh, most of yeah. them, they're yeah. on the grid. We, we call it on the grid. <laughs> on the grid, yeah. Um, everybody knows you from uh, TNT, obviously. And, um, you know, I just read something a few months ago. You're listed in, you know, um, one of the top guitarists in the world. And there's a lot of people in that category, and I know you know that. But I found it interesting doing a bit of research. I didn't realize this, that um, your solo from Caught Between the Tigers, and you've heard this before, legendary guitarist over here in North America, George Lynch, says that was a okay. face melter. What did you think when you heard that? Oh, I was uh, really honored. Uh, I, I met uh, George Lynch in Britain. He was a sweet guy to me anyway. So, And I really admired his uh, work uh, all the way, actually. Uh, George Lynch had that thing that we like over here in Europe. He had kind of a European approach to his guitar playing. He was, there's a lot of British blues kind of, you know, in his playing and the, uh, and the tone. No, uh, I think it's absolutely splendid. Speaking of tone, you led me into another thing I was going to bring up. Um, I believe, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Zach Wilde uh, from Black Label Society and obviously Ozzy, when he recorded Miracle Man, I think he said he he borrowed your tone. Have you heard that, for that song? Yeah, I've heard that, and uh, God bless Zach, you know, and I met him a few times, and he, he's a sweetheart, so if, if I was 
you know, uh, inspiration for him. I'm honored, just honored, you know. Uh, uh, then again, he knows, and I know you can never be somebody else on guitar, and, and I don't think that was what he meant. Yeah, I just think he was inspired by the uh, maybe by the sound. How my sound is less bottom end, maybe. Yeah, uh, it, it's more based about Eddie Van Halen's sound. It's 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 not that much bottom end, man. <laughs> yeah, I mean for sure. Um, and then there's going to be artists out there that are going to be saying, you know, um, um, I got my start by listening to Zach and then Zach got his start kind of listening to you. So it must be a definite honor for sure. And, uh, oh, oh yeah, it, it was an, uh, and he's been carrying me for, for many years. So I, I really appreciate that. He's a sweetheart person. Nice. So, um, who were your influ influences growing up and were you, um, classically trained or um um did you have guitar lessons uh, as we're talking about george lynch george is uh 100 self-taught from what i understand did you take lessons growing up uh, i did i uh did the classical lessons uh, yeah and that's uh pretty much what shaped me because uh, when i was growing up there was not that much can you turn off this here you're sorry. It's okay. I'll just shut up off the thing. Uh, I'm, I'm just uh, leaving the studio here, so I'm going to go into the beautiful Norwegian uh, uh, darkness here. I love that studio, though, the background. It's just It, it just reminds me of um, Scandinavia, just that has that nice feel, rustic and cozy. It's uh, Scandinavia, you know, and you can uh, Is that the moon the behind you? That's the the moon, yes. Wow, that's, the moon. that's excellent. What time is it there? Because here it's noon on Friday. Oh, it's uh, yeah, it's about uh, and it's pretty dark here. You know, that's why, why a lot of people commit suicide. I heard but, that. But it's around uh, it, it's six o'clock at night. What is um like where you're living? How many hours of daylight is it at this time of year? Oh, the, uh, I live pretty far south, so I would say. Uh, Nine, ten hours now. Well, we've got uh, some things. But, 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 but up north, they have one hour. Uh, yeah. Well, so. we've got some things in common because I'm in Canada, right on the border with our American friends. I'm on the border. Okay. Of the States. And today, it was minus 25 Celsius. Yeah, that's that's what the, 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 uh, those are the temperatures we get here, too. Oh, <laughs> right. Man. Wow, we're in sync. Oh, we're in sync, definitely Canada and Norway. They, they, a lot of people say that's the kind of same culture almost too. Right. Um, so right. so a lot of my friends, when they go to North America to visit, they don't go to, uh, to, to the United States. They go to Canada. Right on. Well, yeah. I'm hoping to have on my show again uh, somebody from, uh, well, actually, he's not Scandinavia, but I, w I don't know the area too well, but he's from uh, um, Enchetti in uh, the Netherlands. Adrian Vandenberg. I know you know him. Uh, Vandenberg, yeah, that's uh, that's Central Europe almost, but a similar culture. Yeah. Uh, uh, Vandenberg is brilliant too, right? Yeah, um, yeah. So with the recording of this, um, did you guys decide to get back together to record a sequel? Because obviously you had a great... Um, response to the first one you uh, released together last year or 2021? Uh, yeah, uh, I mean, the music is hard these days, but uh, luckily we have a, a dedicated label, right? Mm -hmm. uh, that, that's behind us. So, uh, and it seems like there's like, a, uh, what should I say? Game change you now in the music industry. Yeah. A lot of the young people, they, they uh, turn into 70s rock. They, they dig the old stuff more than the, the, the new stuff, right? Well, the new stuff so, is, yeah, it's hard to say music because it's so, you don't even have to be a musician these days with the technology. You can play a riff that's slow and then, you know, in the yeah. recording process, triple your speed, release yeah. it, and people don't know. Yeah. So sad. I figured I'm I'm 59 now, and I figured I maybe have five or six albums left in my career. So Very I figured well. I'll, I'll just I'll just try to deliver some things from the heart instead of 
ice cold fucking uh, algorithms. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, are you guys planning on doing any shows uh, to support the album? Uh, we're uh, starting a tour in uh, pretty late. We're doing some singles now, and prior to that, I'm touring with CNT in uh, Sweden, Norway, Denmark, uh, you know, Europe. We're, mm-hmm. we're doing uh, pretty big shows. Uh, yeah. Uh, um, with with uh, with uh, Def Leppard, uh, Motley Crue. Uh, you know, ghost different bands that we're supporting uh, and different festivals. So, wow. so, so, uh, so, so this album won't be promoted live until October, November, and I don't know where it leads us, but I think it's a fucking goddamn uh, brilliant, weird album. <laughs> I love it. I like uh, the uh, the ego that you released uh, in the coffin. Um, that yeah. YouTube. Well, I've seen it. So, go, guys, go and check that video out. It's 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 a great great tune. The riff on that's really nice and crunchy and raw. Thank you. Where where was the inspiration for that? Can you bring back somebody that inspired you musically? That oh maybe... yeah yeah yeah. The, 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 it's a, a friend of mine from Long Island called Bob Eichen. Uh He used to say to me, Ronnie, do you know this guy? His ego is so big that you can't fit it in the coffin with him. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah, there's a lot right, of so I, like said, that, I, I, I told I, I told Tim that line right, and, and then uh, I told him you gotta just make a song out of ego in the coffin. So he he kind of we kind of stole an, uh, stole an expression from my That's... friend Bob Eichen, made, made it into a song, and I think I'm uh, forgiven. <laughs> yeah, no, no. I was talking about the guitar riff. Um, it's raw and crunchy, like. Yeah, the, I, I figured, I figured I, I would uh, try to play uh, a kind of riff upside down. That's what I did. Did you? I've actually seen you play guitar where you um, alternate your uh, your fret hand up and you know uh, top and bottom of the uh, the neck, which is amazing. Yeah, we're right. Yeah, yeah. right. Is uh is there a, is there somebody screaming in the back? Should we notify the yeah. authorities? Yeah, no, it's fine. They're singing some shit up here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got uh, two studios pumping at the same time with different acts. Very nice. Oh, so you rent out <laughs> your studios um, for different musicians in yeah, Europe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. very cool. So, yeah. where can people go to? Um... Oh, I just did not that in two, I. Sorry. Yes. No, I just told them to shut the. Uh... <laughs> uh, it's okay. It's all right. Um, where yeah. can people go to uh, pre-order the um, the new album, limited edition Lava Lump? Um, uh, they they can pre-order um, where I, I I don't actually know, but I, I think it's on the internet. <laughs> uh, on your web, can they get a link from your website? Uh, uh, I, I think so. They they could uh, probably go to Ronnie Latikro, uh, my website, or Ledfoot's website, uh, and pre-order it. Or at Bandcamp. Okay. That's where the pre-orders are, are now because it's a limited edition. Yeah. Lava Lamp. So we just, uh, we're, we're uh, putting out uh, 1,000 copies worldwide on vinyl and CD and then changing the cover. And uh, so it's just a package for 1,000 copies. Okay. Well, that's uh, perfect. I'll, uh, I'll leave links in the description box uh, below this interview. Um, I'll get them from Amanda, ABC uh, PR. Thanks, Amanda yes. Kate, yeah. for setting this up. Yeah. Um, Amanda is great. Yeah, so I'll let you go. I know you have more interviews. I got a couple quick questions. First of all, um, Canadian guitar influences, do you have any, or do you have any Canadian favorite oh, uh, bands? Oh, 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 it's, it's so nice that you asked me, because a lot of the stuff we listen to in Scandinavia is uh, either British or Canadian. Uh, so I'll just mention a few bands that I listen to. Of course, Rush, uh, but Dol Bello, mm-hmm. uh, Frank Mar- Frank Marino was uh, Canadian, yep. wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, April Wine. Yeah. Uh, S- uh, Saga, uh, etc. Yeah. That's awesome. You're bringing <laughs> back some of the oldies uh, that I've I didn't forget about it, but yeah, Saga for sure, for sure. April Wine, Miles mm-hmm. Goodwin, obviously, um, perfect. Uh, so- a of the Canadian bands did really well in uh, in Europe. Well, uh, one in particular, Lee Aaron. Do you remember her? Lee Aaron was fantastic too. Yeah. So uh, and the, the list is endless, isn't it? Really? Yeah, we've got like we're 
we're kind of off the radar because we're next to our powerful uh, friends in the United States. We get overlooked, yeah. but yeah, for sure. Well, thanks for bringing up Saga and April Wine, and everybody knows Rush. What is the opposite yeah. of unsubscribe, Ronnie? Unsubscribe? I would guess that was be a subscribe. Yes. <laughs> hey, everybody, do as Ryan Letecro says and subscribe to the channel so you get these great interviews uh, with these great interviewees. Once again, you gotta do that. So you gotta much. do that, guys. <laughs> Pardon me. They gotta do that. They gotta subscribe. They better, or you're gonna come and get them. I will. I will haunt them in their sleep. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Roddy. I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. Uh, long live Canada. <laughs>